Hi and welcome back to part 3. How Ground Current Affects Dairy Cow Health and Reproduction Dr. Don Hillman is joining us again to discuss how ground current affects reproduction on dairy farms. Welcome back Don. Last time we discussed milk quality and yield. Infections, like mastitis and foot rot. And healthy animals that die suddenly. Our next topic is reproduction. This is another great concern on farms with ground current pollution. Ground current contributes to infertility and to miscarriages. Some cows are not able to get pregnant and some miscarry. Let's begin with AI. AI stands for Correct. Artificial insemination. The dairy industry has developed a successful AI program. Farmers don't have to keep bulls. Instead they use AI when the cow comes into heat. If the AI doesn't take, she will cycle every three weeks. Pregnancy lasts about nine months, similar to humans. Remember Farmer Pete, with the ground current problem? Well, he has had some difficulty getting his cows pregnant. Remember his cow, Fame? The cow that died after birthing? He had to use 12 straws before she became pregnant. Farmer Pete says, many of his cows have 5 to 10 heats before they become pregnant. This is not normal. It worked. Finally. That didn't take long. Here comes another one. Twins are rare. Calving season means a lot of work, but so good to see these calves. However, if you are going to have calves, you are going to have calving problems. Here we have an aborted fetus that is fairly well developed. This one is almost fully developed. This is one of Farmer Pete's cows. She bled for two weeks after calving. There is one point I would like to make crystal clear. No matter how good a farmer you are, you are going to have animals that have difficulty getting pregnant, animals that will abort their fetus, animals that have difficult and complicated births, and some animals will die. This is normal. What isn't normal is the sheer number of illnesses and deaths on farms that have ground current pollution. How do we know if an animal has health problems because of ground current? You can measure the ground current. This is Dave Studzer measuring electricity flowing through the ground on a dairy farm in Ontario. We met Dave in a previous video. This farm had a serious ground current problem. They were having similar symptoms with their cattle that Farmer Pete talked about. If animals have symptoms we talked about last time then they are already stressed. The longer they are stressed, the more likely they are to become seriously ill. You can move an ill animal to another farm, where they don't have ground current, to see if she recovers. She may not recover if she is too far gone. The best solution is to get the current out of the ground and document changes in animal behavior, health and productivity. Whatever improves, was likely due to ground current. It's not easy. But if your animals are agitated, if they won't enter the barn or the milking parlor, if they kick at their milkers and constantly lift their feet, if their muscles twitch and if they lap at their water, if the farmer notices reduced fertility and milk yield, if their hocks are swollen and their infections won't heal, then, you can be fairly confident that the farm has a ground current problem. Thank you Don. I hope this will help farmers recognize when they have ground current pollution on their farm. We will learn in upcoming videos what you can do about it. Once again, I would like to thank Farmer Pete for sharing his story with us. The next few slides are eye candy. Enjoy!
Don, thank you for sharing all this information with us. And for those of you watching, please join us next time. Thanks for watching.